sweaty, but it's refreshing. For the 50 volunteers who gathered on a warm August Saturday, the opportunity to restore a piece of the Elizabeth River shoreline was worth the discomfort. Have y'all done something like this before? Yeah. yeah. Among them were several Boy Scouts. I, I just really like the natural world. I, I think it's a shame people are wrecking it because the things that live there, they don't have a voice, and so it's our job to stand up for them. We have people that care a lot more about things far beyond the billable hour. For Jim Lang and his fellow attorneys and staff members at Pender and Coward, this day of caring was the natural next step in a more than three year long effort to clear an inlet of some 30 hulking, rusting vessels. Jim was representing out of town landowner Carmelo Gomez, who was losing money because the ships interfered with use of the water behind his site. It's difficult to rent property if somebody who rents it can't move his ships in and out. Jim pinged on authorities at all levels, at first in vain. There are a lot of overlapping jurisdictions between the local government, the state government, the federal government. Which was ultimately what delayed a resolution. I think it might be the old story about when everybody is in charge, nobody's in charge. I think that's what we ran into. It took a lot of guts and time. I mean, there was a huge amount of time that Jim spent on it. Media publicity about the environmental harm being done to the river bottom raised awareness. But it wasn't until Jim Lang, with the help of Bridge Trust Title and Kerr Environmental Services, filed a federal lawsuit citing the need for a permit under the Clean Water Act that the boat's owner realized he had to clear them out. I don't think they had found a case quite like this anywhere in the United States, and Jim's maritime background was really essential to, to putting this all together. So the boats are gone from behind the Gomez property, and now the garbage they left behind is too, thanks to these earth lovers. We're trying to make the world a better place, and so if we try our hardest, then we can achieve. We didn't want to just get the ships out of the waterway. We wanted to both then follow on, clean up the river, and restore the shoreline. And um, we just felt like getting the ships out of here wasn't enough. We wanted to finish the job. It couldn't end with just the ships. Two weeks later, several volunteers from the law firm, the city of Norfolk, and the Elizabeth River Project returned to plant native grasses in the mud flats. It gets about three, four feet high, it, and um, the root system will get established, and, and it will be here forever once we get it going. We promote wetlands and wetland restorations, and this is a win-win. It's The Boy Scouts are out here, volunteers are out here, Pender and Coward, the whole community is coming together to plant these wetlands, so it's great. By next summer, this acreage will be a working wetland, and anyone wanting to pollute it again will know there is a law firm ready to fight. <laughs>